Alright, in this video we're going to be looking at ring groups. So from the dashboard, if we go to our left hand side and go down to hosted PBX, click on the arrow and scroll down to ring groups, uh, we're presented with the ring groups page. From here we're going to click on the big green button that says add ring group, and then from here we're given a couple of different options. Now to explain, a ring group is basically all the people that you want to ring for a particular action. So uh, to explain a little bit, let's say uh, as a generic ring group, somebody calls your office, the ring group is going to dictate who can receive that call um, straight away. So I'll explain a little further as we go along. So for this ring group name, I'm just going to call this um, all staff because I want all of my staff to be able to pick up a particular phone call. The call ID prefix, we're just going to leave that blank. Um, the pre-ring announcement, um, I'm going to keep this disabled. Um, uh, the ring time, I'm going to give this 25 seconds before it times out. The external clip, I'm just going to leave as default. Um, the clip pass through, I'm going to leave this off. The timeout destination, now I'm going to send the timeout destination to go to our voicemail, which is our general VM, so that if anybody does not get answered in their call, it's, they're going to be able to leave a voicemail in our general voicemail. So here I'm going to be clicking on agents. Now agents are everybody that I want to be a part of this ring group. So I'm going to add both me, my extension and also Steve extension. So there we go. I've got those two there. Now I can go and configure these um, PBX extensions from here. I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to save this ring group. I'm going to press OK. And now I can see that basically what this ring group is going to do is that every time somebody calls my office, it's going to um, ring on Michael and Steve's phone so that they can both um, answer that one call. Now you can customize these for as many people as you want for as many different things as you want. Maybe you have an interactive voice response and you've um, broken that up so that when they press one, it goes to accounts. When it goes to press two, it's gonna go to sales. So you can have different ring groups for all of those sales groups and all of those accounts groups. So it's really up to you about what you wanna do. But ring groups are very simple to set up and very effective.